Everyone has the right to the highest attainable standard of physical and mental health, including to the highest attainable standard of sexual and reproductive health. These rights are dependent on states respecting, protecting and fulfilling other human rights, such as the rights of non-discrimination, privacy and confidentiality, to be free from violence and coercion, as well as the rights to education and information about sexuality and reproduction. This means that we all have a right to make free, informed and autonomous decisions and choices about sex and reproduction. It also means that we have a right to have pleasurable and safe sexual experiences free from violence, coercion and discrimination. To make this right real, states must provide a comprehensive range of healthcare facilities, services and goods ranging from family planning services to contraception, access to safe abortion and post-abortion care. Unfortunately, across the world, women, girls and gender minorities are often denied these rights. In Eswatini, the law is currently unclear in this regard. The constitution guarantees women's rights and requires the state to take all practical measures to ensure the provision of basic healthcare services to the population. Eswatini is also bound by international human rights law, which says all persons, including women and girls, have a right to comprehensive sexual and reproductive health services. However, the constitution only allows for abortion in very specific circumstances that don't serve the vast majority of cases. As a result, women have no resort except to seek out unsafe and unlawful options, giving Eswatini a high maternal mortality rate. Unsafe abortions violate women and girls' rights to life, dignity and privacy, and their right to sexual and reproductive health. The Committee on the Rights of the Child has called on Eswatini to provide young girls with access to family planning services, affordable contraceptives and safe abortion. To realize the right to health of women and girls in Eswatini, the International Commission of Jurists recommends that the Eswatini authorities take the following measures. 1. Parliament must clarify the law relating to abortion, including by prescribing that abortion be available in circumstances when it constitutes an informed, autonomous choice of the pregnant person. 2. Authorities must ensure safe, legal and effective access to abortion in line with the World Health Organization's guidance. 3. They must remove any abortion restriction that endangers the lives of women and girls or subjects them to physical or mental pain or suffering or that discriminates against them or that violates their right to privacy. Lastly, four, ensure access to a range of sexual and reproductive health products, services and facilities without discrimination.